Welcome to an unboxing video. Today we are looking at uh, Pierre Solar, which uh, it's actually rocked up I think just before Christmas and I've just had it sitting here waiting. This is of course the collector's edition and I'm still learning how to use Zoom so don't worry. There we go. Oh, creaky creak. So as you can see, it's got a barcode. I think I went with the Japanese version. Oh yeah, there we go, NTSC J. So let's uh, let's get it open. Well, you see in the background there, my beautiful IBM keyboard. It's uh, manufactured by Lexmark. It's got the uh, the drainage things in it, so I can spill water all over the keyboard, which is a terrible idea. Don't do it. And of course, my new mouse mat in the background. <laughs> I'm such a child. Uh, all right, so Pierre Solar, let's get it open. Oh, been waiting months for this. I received the uh, the belt buckle, which I'll dig out. Oh, that's a thick label. No saving it though, no saving it. Oh, there's another one under here. Oh, there you go. Goodbye packaging. Like a protective thing around, oh wow, look at that. That's nice. It's very nice. Let's get rid of this protective thing. Oh no, it's also a holder, oh wait, we're good, it's a box. Should have seen that one coming. Whew. Copy number G60T. <laughs> Good old G60T. There we go. G6T. G60, G60, that's not too bad. It could be a, a 9 or a 4. It's a bit of a difficult one. <laughs> but that's not why I bought it. I didn't buy it for that. Ooh, look at that. Tissue paper. Now, I've got this on the Mega Drive, and I must admit I've never played it, and this took so long to get here that I ended up selling all my Dreamcasts in the meantime. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to play it on. It's a nice box, though. I'd say you don't get that often with collector's editions, but uh, you do. And this this is no exception. So what's here? This is the... Uh, the people? There's... Is that a dog? That's a dog. Look at that. Incredible. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Is it... It's art. I should frame it and... do things. Now the Mega Drive version, I only got the uh, second release, I think it was. So I didn't get the fancy audio CD with it. Oh, there's a... Oh, this is very well engineered. Our good friends at Watermelon. It's got a little... sort of... Shiny, plasticky embossing. On the back, it's got a whole bunch of things. I don't know what they are. Whoa! -ho. And there she is. Oh, that's a nice jewel case. Whew. Is the spine. Looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. Let's have a look at the back. It's an RPG, one player, 27 blocks. Uses a little VM thing. Oh, look at that. That's magnificent. 
I was wondering where they were. So I know that most Japanese games do have them. Mmm, mustn't get those dirty. <laughs> Are these stickers? I think there's stickers here too. It must have been, it must have been four years ago. 2012? So 2013. I was expected to ship 2013. Either way, it's been a long wait. And even longer since I didn't really open it. <laughs> Let's have a look under here. What else we got? Ooh. Looks like it could be a poster. Oh, it is. Hmm. Huh. What happened there? Looks like his eye melted away. Stepped on the other box. So it doesn't look too bad till you get over to that side. What on earth is going on there? Mm. Poor guy looks like he's got leprosy. His face is about to fall off. And I'll be honest, I don't quite know how leprosy works. So that's probably not the case. It's probably just bad ink, maybe? It must be bad ink. Oh well, that can go in the bin. Thanks, watermelon. But here's the main thing, the main event. It's the disc, of course. It does look pretty good. I'm gonna have a closer look. Yes, and the great architects. Yep, that's a nice looking disc. Ooh. So I'll pop that away. The poster, I don't know what to do with the poster. Should I? Mm. Don't know about that. That's a bit off. Disappointing. I wouldn't mind another poster. The only ones I've got up are uh, Runaway Brothers from Earthbound, a Game Boy Advance thing, <laughs> and the Sega Saturn. There are no limits. Well, maybe I'll pop down to the local laminating shop and see what we can do. Or maybe I'll just put it back in the box and completely forget about it. Yep, that's probably the more likely of the two. And his face wasn't actually in contact with anything, so... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of booklets and things. Wow. Let's get that spine card in there properly. Not too interested in the booklets, because there should be other goodies in this box, from what I understand. And I'll put the game CD in upside down. I like all these little pull tabs. It's in here. It's been so long I don't remember what I ordered. Something in here. It's wrapped. Serious? There's like a... <laughs> it's like a mug. I was not expecting that. Or a pencil holder. I'm going to use this as a pencil holder. Or a pen holder, I suppose. I guess you can put either of them in. Yeah, it's Pierre Solar on one side. A bit of copyright stuff on the base. And more of those guys that we saw that I still don't quite know who they are. I really should play the game. So there we go. That's, that's nice. I'll pop that over there. There's more things in here, though. So I've got the belt buckle, I knew that was one of the big things. Oh man, it's... It's, 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 it's... Hang on, this is our main reference card. So who's who? I reckon this little guy is Pepito here. This has got to be Pepito. His name probably isn't Pepito, but... I think it goes well. What do I do with this? I don't collect figures. Or dolls. <laughs> oh, 
And there we go. Whoop. Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't know if that was part of the pack, or if these, I don't remember coffee cup being part of the pack either. That's why I really don't know what these things are. That's the third thing in the bottom, what is it? Oh. It's a frog. Oh, nice. And a chicken. Oh, that's nice. See, that's, those are the things that I want. I want some random kid from Pinocchio. Oh, these are cool. <laughs> Sugoi. Let's get a bit of a zoom. Woo. And a frog focus. So that's quite nice. He's got uh, feet. And he's frog shaped. It's nice. Let's have a look at the chicken now. There's not many things you can do wrong with a chicken, and I think they've pulled it off pretty well. It's a good looking chicken. Oh yeah. Chickadee chickens. Oh, and the belt buckle. Let me just get that out of the old collection. Oh, damn. So here's the belt buckle. I've got to see if I, I can get this onto my belt. 64 megs. This must have been more to do with the... Uh... Oop, easy. More to do with the Mega Drive version, which I'm sure I have up there somewhere. I'll dig it out in a second. We'll have a look at it. But it's, yeah, it's a belt buckle, so it's quite a belt buckle. All you need is to put your belt on it, I guess. So that's pretty nice. I've also got this. I don't remember where this came from. I must have bought it. It's a strategy book, so I should really play this one day. <laughs> This is quite a nice book as well. Nice embossed on the front and Mega Drive. Oh, this could have been Fan Gamer. It's got a nice pink bookmark, watermelon. No, this must have came with this. This must have been in the package, that's right. It is a nice looking, nice looking guide. Oh, so it's mostly in English and there's a bit of the old translation in the back. No beautiful colour pages for the translations though. That's alright. I only speak English properly. Muchly. So let's have a look at the, uh, the Mega Drive one if I can find it. There it is. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, so there we go. There's that 64, 64 meg logo thing. This is actually, uh, let's have a look at the insides. Been sitting in there since who knows when. So I went with the Genesis Mega Drive version. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, very specialized. It also had a little booklet instruction manual. And, oh, stickers. Are they the same stickers? They look very similar. Oh, so that frog is actually um, Watermelon's logo. So there, there we go. A little character. Oh, there's a poster in here too. Well, while we're at it, let's have a look. This is a white poster. Much better choice. Should really scan this and upload it. Oh, I don't have a scanner that's big enough anymore. 
celebrating the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis 20th anniversary blast processing since 1988. It's unfortunate because I've only been blast processing since 1990 something. Look at that. There's the frog. So I should really get that laminated too. Huh? Oh, I've got all these things to do now. I shouldn't have done this unboxing video. Now I've just realised that my to-do list is bigger than it was. But all in all, that's not too bad. And then there's the game itself, which is really what it was purchased for. And I'll be honest, I haven't really played this version or the Dreamcast version yet. I will in time, I'm sure. But thank you for watching. Oop, chicken's fallen over. There we go, that's better. Oh, we'll just, we'll just fade to credits, I think. Credit fade, credit fade, credit fade, credit fade.